The options bar allows us to control the different options associated with the command. Now the options bar is very easy to miss because it's just this gray bar going across the top of our screen. But when you execute a command that has different options associated with it, we'll be able to do different things with the options bar. In order to be able to see this, let's move our mouse underneath the architecture tab over the picture of the wall and click on the picture of the wall. Here we'll see that the options bar is now populated with a variety of different options associated with this particular command. For instance, it now has a pull down menu asking us questions related to the depth or the height of our wall. There is a menu here that's going to allow us to be able to click inside of it, highlight the information, and if we wanted to type in a different height for our wall, we could do it. The options bar also allows us to be able to check or uncheck different options in order to be able to turn on and turn off different functions. So the options bar allows us to be able to change different options associated with individual commands.